Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's me again, MoldyJo15, bringing you a more extended version for how to do well in single player for Moon in the New Zombies DLC Resurrection. Right off the bat, um, if you haven't seen this video that I did before about how to do well in the very very beginning in area 51 you're gonna have to want to go and check that out because you'll see it's round one I already have juggernaut on or juggernog excuse me it's a very good uh, perk to start off with and I'm a little low on points because I spent everything <laughs> to get that soda so just hopping around now and the zombies are really easy in this level what you want to do to maximize your points is give them six shots with your M1911 and then knife them that way you'll ensure that you get the most points for each kill. You'll get 60 points for the bullets you put into them and 130 for the knife. So that's a total of 190 points per kill. Very good, really it is. And um, yeah, off the bat, you're going to want to buy Quick Revive and you're going to want to buy a M14, that which is outside. So Quick Revive's right there. It's good. So for some reason, some people don't know that if you buy it in single player, that when you go down, it revives you. It doesn't just help you revive other people because there aren't any other people since it's single player. And one thing you're going to have to watch out for in Moon is the uh, astronaut that walks around. He's, uh, he's, he's a bit of a dickhead, really. He doesn't pose any real threat to you as far as physically but he can really mess up your day what he'll do is if he can touch you he'll grab you and headbutt the crap out of you and that'll randomly teleport you anywhere that you've unlocked which is okay I can deal with that but he'll also take away one of your perks he does that he'll take away a random perk and it really sucks now at this point I sped up because it's just come some of the uh, the early rounds, what you want to do with your M14 is shoot them one less than the number of the round that you're on and then knife them. For example, I'm on round three here, so that means I'm going to shoot them twice with the M14, then knife them. The principle here is that you want to end every kill with a knife, because when you end, uh, when you kill a zombie with a knife, it gives you 130 points, which is much more than anything else. The second highest point value for killing a zombie would be a headshot and I'm showing you in this part that there's an MPL in this little room off to the side that is as far as I want to unlock stuff because I'm going to be going into the rooms through the other side to continue advancing and progress progressing through the level up here I make a pretty good push I've established a nice amount of points doing my combat dives and zero gravity pretty awesome <laughs> and uh, yeah so here's the stamina up machine when the powers on you can buy that it'll make you sprint longer and run a little faster I'm pretty sure which is useful but not essential since your base uh, movement speed is faster than a zombies maximum sprint so once I get this a little bit extra points I am going to push up into the power room so uh, it's the room there's a table in the middle and a big pyramid looking doohickey also the mystery box was in here for me I'm not sure if it's always gonna start there or if it spawns randomly but just for your reference mystery box was in fact there so basically in this room you wanna either camp it out or when the zombies get to be too strong for you I mean I'm still confident because I got juggernaut on me but you wanna just run around the pyramid to uh, get them to follow you and then gun them all down in a line. I kind of do this here, but I kind of don't because I'm getting lazy and it's still early. I managed to get a lot of quick points. I think I got a double point somewhere and to help me out. Here I almost die. I really do. I got hit four times. I don't know why I didn't go down there. Maybe it was spaced out just right. So I'm, I'm just kind of running around in stupid spots. This isn't exactly the best way to do it. The best way would, as I said before, to run around the pyramid but I'm being a dumbass, which is it's just part of my nature. So, <laughs> here you pick up the double points. What do you know? I'm just going to crank out the rest of this round. Zombies are pretty easy at this point. 
They're a little bit too strong for me to go with my M14 and knifing strategy. I think maybe this might be, yeah, this is round four. So three shots and a knife, not too bad. Or Oh, it was five. So yeah, four shots and a knife is kind of pushing it. So I stuck with the MPL. But I will transition to this part. This part, I have accumulated enough points in the pyramid room to the part where I'm now going to push up into the main spot where I will be continuing my zombie killing advice to the very end. We're just gonna buy into this room and go up the stairs and swing a left, I think. Yes, no, left. Nope, nope, we got another set of stairs to go up to. This is the part I was talking about. To the right leads you to the biodome, but we don't want to go there. We want to go out here to some deep space rock area. It's really open, a lot of open terrain. You can run around that big rock in the middle in a circle. Here's a mule kick. It lets you carry un mas weapon. I don't know how to say weapon in Spanish, but... <laughs> Yeah, here's the uh, AK-74U you can buy off the wall. I recommend that you do that. I just wanted to use the list, the uh, little bit of ammo I still had in my MPL before I end up buying that. But yeah, it's good because it's good to have a weapon on the wall that you can rebuy ammo for when you're running with zombies behind you, so you don't have to have to worry about going into a whole new area. Here I'm just speeding it up. Very simple stuff. Just get the zombies to follow you, then gun them all down. Nothing too complex. It's uh, pretty much common knowledge that whenever you got zombies in uh, in this game, whenever there are zombies around, you want to get them all to follow you, and then shoot them all down at once. Get a lot of multiple hits with one bullet. You know, who cares? One shot, one kill. I want one shot, five kills. That's that's the way to do it. But yeah. Here you can rack up as many points as you want and then explore the rest of the the moon. I recommend you do. There's a lot of perk machines. I think there's eight in total. And it's a lot of fun. It's pretty easy. I'm pretty sure out of all the zombie games, Shangri-La was the hardest. Ascension probably being the easiest. This is right in the middle. I like it. It's pretty good. Definitely a nice way to end things off. But... Um, Coming towards the end of the video, I hope this has been helpful to you all. Um, yeah, just going to end off the round here. Pretty much just showing how easy it can get. I I took this uh, this game to some pretty high rounds. Like I just gave it a, the good old college try. I made it to round 16 before I screwed up. But speaking of screwing up, my recording software screwed up. So I don't have any rounds after this, really. But I'm showing you just pretty much the end strategy that I kept doing. You can use the teleporter that's off the side of the cliff to go back to Area 51 where you can pack a punch your weapon. But uh, that's the end of my video. Check out my channel if you want. Cheers!